Hi friends, this is Carmen. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My channel is all about succulents and cacti, my balcony garden, and houseplants in an apartment setting. Today I have a haul for you and a little bit of footage of my shopping that I did at Arizona, or Plant Stand of Arizona. I didn't do a full tour because I was a little bit pressed for time, so I just got a little bit of footage, but I picked up some really beautiful things. Um, none of these plants are on my wish list, but they just so happened to be plants I didn't know that I actually needed. So it was great to discover that. You know, it's wonderful when you discover a plant that you actually really need, and you didn't know about. So <laughs> stay tuned. I'll show you what I got. Let's get to it. I'm going to show you uh, some things that aren't plants. I picked up some four inch terracotta pots and they have these marbled pots there, terracotta pots that I just love. I happen to have a couple and um, before and I decided I'm going to pick up some more. The four inch ones were $1.99 and I did pick up a couple of the regular ones which were a dollar okay and these have like huge holes in them so you definitely need to put something to cover that up but I have a bunch of little plants that I need to repot and I didn't have any four inch terracotta pots so while I was there I picked some up and I just love that marble look to them I did pick up a succulent that is very close to a um, succulent and echeveria that's on my wish list. It's got a ruffled look to it like this one. The one that was on my wish list actually has the little warts on the uh, leaf. I didn't see one like that, but this one really caught my eye because you see there, it's getting ready to bloom and it has right underneath there a second stalk that's about to come out that's getting ready to bloom such good shape it did have a couple of dead leaves around the bottom i took those out actually when i was there do you ever go to a nursery and you start like picking dead leaves off of the plants and start grooming them and stuff anyways <laughs> so i took those off while i was there but other than that it's in really good shape and um i will be repotting this one in a little bit chunkier mix but otherwise, this ruffled echeveria, I have to look up exactly what name it is. I'm just calling it ruffled echeveria. But I will look up exactly the name of it. I love the blue, gray, green color to it. But the edges have like a purple tinge. Just gorgeous. And I can hardly wait for it to bloom. Now... You know in the stores that they have those little 
when you're checking out and they have the aisles there just full of stuff for you to look at while you're waiting in the checkout line well that's what happened to me i was there waiting in line with my cart full of the stuff that i wanted and there was this table sitting there right next to me with a bunch of little four inch plants and i look over and i see this beauty syngonium and this syngonium is called maria illusion you believe that you all know how i love the name maria this is just gorgeous i love the um the green and the burgundy this one has a lot of new growth to it so this is one of the ones that I will be repotting into a uh, four inch pot. That's beautiful. Mer Syngonium Maria Illusion. So as you probably know, I have been acquiring some more Hoyas um, by purchasing some. I've been gifted some. I've been so lucky to be gifted some Hoya. So my Hoya collection is growing some. And while I was there, and I've actually, my Hoya Puba Calyx, I got there at Plant Stand of Arizona. But I, while I was there, I saw off in the distance this little plant, and I went straight towards it. I wasn't quite sure what it was. I thought it was a Hoya, but as soon as I touched these waxy leaves, I knew it was a Hoya. This is a Hoya Lacunosa. Uh, it wasn't labeled, so I had to ask exactly what it was, and he informed me it was a Hoya Lacunosa. So I'm so happy to get it. It's nice and full. It's got some new growth on it. I gave it a drink of water already because it was thirsty when we got here. And um, I don't know. I'll have to really... It's so... Uh, full I can't really see the soil very well but I do think I'm going to um, repot it in the sense of getting giving it some fresh soil I'll probably use the same size pot or the same pot but um, I will put it in my own mix my own chunky mix that I've been using for my Hoyas which is very similar to my succulent mix but this Hoya Lacunosa it's so cute it's small but it's got like i said it's got a lot of growth in it and i'm going to hang it over there along with the other hoyas that i have and um my hoya collection continues to grow i'm so happy about that it's really a cute little plant this was in the 1995 was this one so i was happy about the price and it's one that I had not seen there. I hadn't seen around um, any of the nurseries really. So I'm glad that they're getting, you know, s some more Hoyas. And I know that recently they had gotten the Hoya Stralis in. I missed that one, but I did get a cutting from someone. So I'm happy about that. Um, like I said, I had gotten my Hoya Pubicalix there. So they're getting more Hoyas in that are, are a little bit more... Um, were uncommon or harder to find. So... I'm glad that they are getting those. Let me move some stuff here. My last one is kind of a big daddy here. Now this is a plant that I had seen on their Instagram and I thought, hmm, I, I think I need one of those. It's not on my wish list, but I think I need one of those. And they have them in three gallon sizes. So it's a big, it's a big plant. So, this is my Philodendron Burl Marks. Isn't he a beauty? I'll put him back a little bit here so you can kind of see him. So, so gorgeous. Let me turn him around so you can see a lot of the new growth in there. And he's heavy. Ugh. The mix they have him in is a chunky mix. I see a lot of... Um, wood chips in here and perlite so i'm going to leave them in here i'm not going to repot him right now because obviously he seems happy in here with all this growth that's having um i do see oh lordy towards the bottom openings a couple of roots 
nothing major, a couple of roots coming out, nothing that needs like fixing right away or repotting right away. So I do have a basket, really cute wicker basket. I'm going to put this in um, that will fit this three gallon size pot beautifully. This guy was $49.95. And yes, I know that's more than I usually spend, but look at them. The size of it, the amount of growth, the health of the plant. And I've seen um, online, um, other nurseries, Etsy shops, those six inch pots with one or two plants in them for $30. So this one has a lot of plants in it, a lot of really good stems. Look at that. This one will, you looks bushy now, but it will grow up and climb. So eventually I will stake them and um, he'll be doing just fine. He's going to take up a nice spot in my in my uh, plant room but I just couldn't get over the amount of new leaves that he has look at that just beautiful and he was kind of hidden in the back in the uh, larger greenhouse that they have there so um, I was happy to find him isn't that beautiful so no wish list plants but plants that I did not realize I needed until I was there. So I don't know, maybe that's a new list I need to start or something. <laughs> so what do you think, friends? Do you think I got some good deals? Do you love them? Um, which one was your favorite? I am. I think you know which one is my favorite. Hoya is definitely right up there, but this Burl Marks is just beautiful. I'm so happy to see another plant that is more easily accessible that used to be a harder to find plant or a rare plant um, so yeah I'm really happy to, to find this one and who knows maybe one day I'll find its brother the variegated one so you know stranger things have happened <laughs> if you enjoyed this video friends please do give it a thumbs up that helps me out so much and if you're not already subscribed please do hit that subscription button there and the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of this fun and I will see you in the next video also if you want to learn a little bit more about my memberships to my channel there's a blue button down there that says join you can click on that and there's a little video I did that you can watch to see what uh, my membership tiers are if you want to support my channel a little bit more okay thanks so much friends have a blessed day see you in the next video bye bye mm -hmm.